Today I'm going to show you how to strengthen your knee for knee arthritis. I'm going to show you the safest way to strengthen your quadricep muscles and your hamstring muscles. And the first quadricep muscle that I want to go over is the long arm quad exercise. You start in a seated position, lift your foot up so that you begin to straighten the knee. Make your knee as straight as you can. Repeat the exercise for 5 to 10 repetitions for 3 sets. If you have trouble straightening your knee, make sure to check out my video How to Stretch the Knee for Knee Arthritis. I'll leave the link down in the description as well as pin it in the comment below. Assuming you are able to strengthen your knee for this exercise, we can make it more challenging by adding resistance. We could add resistance to lumbar quad by putting an ankle weight onto the ankle. We could also add resistance to this exercise by using resistance band. Secure one end of the resistance band on the chair that you are sitting on and the other end onto your ankle. Make sure that there is no slack on the resistance band when you start to push the ankle up against the resistance. The other quadriceps exercise that I like for knee arthritis is the straight leg raise. Lie down on your back, on your bed, or on the floor. Bend one knee and keep the other knee straight. Lift the leg up as high as you can without bending the knee before bringing it down. Repeat the exercise for 5 to 10 repetitions for 3 sets. Last exercise for the quadriceps that I like is the sit to stand exercise. I like this exercise because it is very functional. It trains your body to be able to stand up better and it improves your mobility. Let's go over some biomechanics for sit to stand. First, scoot to the edge of the chair. Make sure your feet are under your body and then lean forward. Lastly, stand up. Repeat the exercise for 5 to 10 repetitions for 3 sets. The easiest version is using your hands to push off from the chair. Put your hands on the chair on either side of your body and as you stand up, give the chair a slight push behind you so that it pushes your body up. To make this a little more challenging, put your hands on your knees or your thighs instead of the chair. Push down into your legs as you stand up. The next level is to stand up without pushing with your hands. Scoot to the edge, legs under your body, put your arms across your chest like this, lean forward and then stand up. Next, let's talk about hamstring exercises. The first hamstring exercise that I want to go over is alternating knee flexion in the standing position. This exercise is also known as hamstring curls in standing. Start in the standing position, hold onto a chair or table for support. Bend the knee as far as you can and bring it back down to the floor. Alternating bending the right and the left leg, repeat the exercise for 5 to 10 repetitions for 3 sets. If you only have arthritis in one knee, you don't have to alternate. To make this exercise more challenging, you can put an ankle weight around your ankle. To use resistance band to increase the difficulty of this exercise, put a loop resistance band around your ankles. If you decide to use a loop resistance band, it is easier to flex one knee repetitively instead of alternating from one knee to the other. The reason is the loop band tends to slide up the ankle if you alternate. If you're using a resistance tube or a resistance band that tends to slide up, here's what I'll do. I'll use the leg that is not bending and step on part of the resistance loop so that it stays on the ground. And the leg that is bending, you can experiment between pushing with your foot or pushing with your ankle. Whichever slides less is the one that you want to go for. If you have an ankle weight, you can also do hamstring curls in the prone position. First, put on the ankle weight, lie down on your stomach, on the bed, or on the floor. Bend your knee as far as you can, and then bring it back down. Repeat the exercise 
for 5 to 10 repetitions for 3 sets. The last exercise for the hamstring that I want to go over is the supine bridge. This is a very functional exercise because it improves your bed mobility, which is another word for moving around the bed. The two most common way to move around the bed is rolling or scooting. In order to scoot, you have to be able to lift your hips up. Supine bridge trains you to lift your hips. Repeat the exercise for 5 to 10 repetitions for 3 sets. This exercise does require you to be able to bend your knees to about 90 degrees. If you have less than 90 degrees of knee flexion, you will have to work a lot harder to keep your feet from slipping out under you. If you don't have 90 degrees knee flexion, I highly recommend and you watch my how to stretch your knee for knee arthritis video to increase your knee range of motion link down in the comment section below if supine bridge is too easy for you you can make it more challenging by doing a single leg bridge start with one knee flexed and foot flat on the floor or on the bed keep the other knee straight start with the straight knee lifted up from here lift your hip up with the one leg while keeping this other leg up in the air. Lower the hips down to rest. This exercise is twice as difficult as a regular supine bridge since one leg has to do all the work. If you found this video helpful, please also check out my other video on how to stretch the knee for knee arthritis. It is an excellent video to increase knee range of motion, to decrease knee stiffness, and increase your knee flexibility. Link in the description and in the comment section below. If you made it this far into the video, go ahead and hit that like button as well as the subscribe button.